So, did I get the minimum wage job that I apply for in a sandwich shop that I used to drive up to in my Porsche? And now, if you're a fellow chosen one, you'll know you can't really work in jobs because, you know, it's just mind-numbing and you're just surrounded by plebs who can't think, who won't express their opinion, who just wear all the masks, even to themselves. They don't even know who they are. Um, and it's just so painful. So, after years of illegal work that made loads of money, so that was business number one. I am currently filming a business series. Number two should be, yeah, number two is this one. Number one is on the Patreon. <laughs> so yeah, that all went badly in the end. Almost got stabbed a few times on the Patreon. Um, so I decided to try and just get a normal job, like a normal person. And I won't go through them all. Now, when I was a youngster, I had, I worked really hard. I worked really well at a squash club. I did many different roles from squash coaching uh, to receptionist. And that all went well and I excelled in all of it. But, you know, once you've earned 50 grand a year from the age of 18, it's very hard to go and listen to a boss who's paying you 14 grand a year. So basically I ended up in shit sales jobs. Uh, ending up in the gym industry. So first it was fitness first. Wow, I've got some stories about that place. And I so so yeah, my ex-manager at Fitness First is now a subscriber. And wow, she has turned her life around. Wow, she is shining. I can't believe it. So that is just amazing. But anyway, I left Fitness First and joined Virgin Gym. And I did make a lot of big claims in my interview. I, you know, as shit job interviews go, I'm very good at being interviewed. And you know, they were like, oh wow, who have we got here? This guy's gonna be good. And I, do, I later found out that they had chosen me over a billboard basically so to get x amount of budget and it was like no one hire a six person and i was all right but it was in the recession and of course we weren't allowed on our conference calls whatever they're called you know where they just shout at you for not hitting your targets uh God, it was so awful i used to cry in the shower before i went it was just such such an awful job you know if you if you mentioned the word recession they'd go mental like, they won't let you like, and this was so this was 2008 this was peak fucking no one buying memberships I remember all the team that I was with were like, yeah, a year ago we used to earn 30 grand a year. We didn't even have to try, people just walked in. And then we were slogging to try and hit our targets and we never did. I remember the manager there, Helene, she was called, coming in one day. She'd obviously just been grilled by the area manager. And she was just so red-faced. She'd clearly been boring her eyes out. Like it was, it was just a horrible place to work. And what finished it for me was when they sent me on a training day. And I was just like, this is bullshit. I had to go all the way to Bolton. And, uh, you know, they, they, they change you on, like, you know, five different levels. And the, and the fifth level was going into corporations and signing up 200 people at a time. And I was just like, I'm not doing that. Like, that's, that's just totally unrealistic. Like, yeah, a couple of people might have done it in virgin history, but it ain't going to be me. I don't care enough. And I think this is fucking bollocks. So I totally seized up and just, like, was like, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I mean, really, I didn't, I didn't feel capable of doing it. That's what it was. And a good trainer would have seen that and given me the confidence, but instead they just lambasted me. And then they sent a report back to Mr. Phil Scott, who uh, was not happy and sacked me. And at the time I was devastated, like, thought it mattered. And then that's when I went on to start business number one in the video I shared earlier and started making some real money and living my entrepreneurial dream and yeah, just getting out of the matrix, or the start of getting out of the matrix. Seems to be back in it right now. Well, not right now. This is beautiful. You know, I am in Sheffield, I am in the UK. So if you don't know, I'm a failed expat. I was living the dream in Thailand. Had it all. Business, YouTube, boom, 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 boom. Tourists were looking up to me like, how do you do it? And I totally fucked you up by giving haters ammunition on YouTube. It was then used against me. I think that's the end of this little story. Oh, I didn't tell you if I got the job. No. No, I didn't get the job. Now, he did say to me, come on, let's go. He did say to me that he'd already employed everyone. As in, they'd employed six, six people the day before and the job was no longer available. I don't know. I don't know if he was just like, I, because I know him. I know him. He knows me from driving a Porsche. So, you know, I reckon he probably took one look at me and was just like, you're not going to do what I say, you know. I'm going to imply you. And all his staff are females. Fine. Um, 
you know, 18 year old students who are just like, yes sir, no sir, whatever you say sir. So, um, and that's no, you know, I like him, you know, I'm not, not, I'm not saying that's wrong, but I think that's probably the best way to run his business. So he's just going to be like, I'm not going to employ an almost 40 year old ex-businessman who thinks he's a dog bollocks. But actually, I would be the best employee right now because I'm, I'm humbled. I know it doesn't look like it on YouTube, but you know, I don't walk around like this. You know, I am playing to the camera. Everything I say is true. Everything I say, I believe. Uh, I do have a huge personality. I got described as a, a big puppy the other day. One of my good mates was just like, you're just like a big puppy, aren't you really? Just so much energy and enthusiasm for life. And you make mistakes all the time. <laughs> Which I thought was a very good analogy. So yeah, I'm going to walk past today actually. I'm going to wherever swims. I'm having a day off today. Oh my gosh, I have grafted. I went to the gym three days ago. I mean, I've just spent two days grafting so hard. Harder than I've ever grafted physically before. I can really feel it. So, I mean, by my stand, by most people's stands, it's not a lazy day. I'll be walking this one twice. And I'll be walking all the way to wherever swims. But probably the best part of 20 miles, definitely 15 miles. But for me, that's a lazy day because as my Peruvian tour guide said, about, that was 30, so eight years ago, when I visited Peru and did Machu Picchu, he, his nickname for me was 10 men, because <clears throat> I had the energy of 10 men. And that was whilst being a pothead. So yeah, now I'm not a pothead, it's like, <laughs> So yeah, we'll see, we'll see if the sign's still in the window. It's only a couple of days ago, so we'll see if he was telling the truth. Uh, he did tell me another place to go, but since then, I've acquired a load of gardening work. If I've already done that video, then it's here. Business number six. So yeah, I thought part of this humbling journey was going to be having to do a shit minimum wage job, but it seems that's not the case. Although I did actually offer myself to a gardener the other day, £10 an hour. Um, you know, it's his, his right hand man, a proper, you know, proper gardener with a van and shit. And, you know, so I am still willing, because that would actually be, it'll be easier because I don't have to find my own work and I wouldn't have to worry about my lack of tools. But actually, I'm going to up my rate soon. You know, once I start getting, you know, booked up, which, you know, is already kind of happening, uh, I will be upping my rate, so I'm probably better off just doing it myself. Um, so yeah, no min minimum wage work for Thomas, it seems. So that's quite a relief. Um, yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I didn't get a minimum wage job. I don't think I'm gonna bother because I seem to be starting business number six. So yeah, if you wanna see my new business journey and a shitload of other stuff, because I do like a tangent, I don't know if you've noticed like, um, then make sure you subscribe. And if you could give it a like for me, I'd really appreciate it. And there's a Patreon. If you cannot get enough of me, then that's got a lot more content on it. It's got all my old Thai footage, or it will do soon. Should have by now. And lots of new footage too. And we share a bit more deeply on me. I take a few more risks on me. So, y'all, come and join me on the Patreon. Check it out below. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the minute I get to 300 pounds a month earning online, which I can only see being the Patreon, because there's no way these bastards will ever monetize me, um, then I will be fucking off on a plane. Because the way I see it is I can volunteer at places for two months at a time. Just live an awesome life. Some of these volunteer places. Oh yeah, if anyone wants a Workaway membership, then let's do it together because it's half price. It's two people can sign up for like, I think it's five pounds more than one person. It's 49 pounds or 53 pounds. It's stupid. So if anyone wants the Workaway website, this one is amazing. Have a look. If you want to escape the UK, this is how you can... If you're wondering why I'm wearing a holster jumper, you have to have a, a good chest to wear. Somebody gave me this jumper and it's such a shame that it's got this gay holister collar on it because it's so good, it's such good quality. But he probably wouldn't have given it me, uh, you know, if it had a nice collar because it's a really nice jumper. Although he's a very generous man, but that's not the point. So yeah, if you want to do work away, it's either £24 each or £26 each as opposed to paying like 50 quid on your own. It's crazy how there's no price difference between two people and one person. I don't get it. So yeah, my email's in the description below. Let's share the membership. Let's save each other some money. Let's get the fuck out of the UK. Let's do this, baby. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you later. I wonder if I could get my mum to just sew it up. What do you reckon? She just sewed it down there. Then it'd be winner, winner, chicken dinner, wouldn't it?